This just in, the man police say sexually assaulted a woman at a South Philly Dollar Tree store has turned himself in. The attack gaining national attention, even rapper Meek Mill tweeting today that he would award $2,000 to the person who finds him. Police identified him as 35-year-old Gary Miles. His surrender happening after disturbing video circulated on social media, appearing to show the end of the assault. It happened at the store located at Snyder Plaza on East Snyder Street on June 23rd. Police say a mugshot will be released once charges are officially filed. One of the biggest annual events at the Jersey Shore is off this year. Organizers announcing today this year's Atlantic City Air Show is canceled. The event has drawn hundreds of thousands of people to AC for decades, two decades as a matter of fact. Seanette Wilson reports. People describe the air show as vibrant and a good way to end summer, but the news is putting a financial cloud over some in the city. It's known as thunder over the boardwalk, but this year the sky over the beach in Atlantic City will be quiet in mid-August. City officials announcing today that this year's show is canceled. My mom loves the air show. Ryan Sullivan walking the boardwalk with friends this evening was surprised to hear the news. When you have Jets flying around, it's a different experience, you know. The announcement comes a month and a week before the show called a salute to those who serve was supposed to land here. In a joint statement, the Greater Atlantic City Chamber, Visit Atlantic City, and the South Jersey Transportation Authority explained it was due to a major act withdrawing, saying, quote, this decision was not made lightly, and we understand the disappointment it may cause. We extend our heartfelt thanks and gratitude to all who have supported this event over the past number of years. Now, we reached out to each organization for further comment but have not heard back. It was just this past March, the governor's office announced the Transportation Authority was providing $300,000 to help save this year's show. Adam Badawi says the C-Club, where he works on the boardwalk, will notice the absence of air enthusiasts this year. City officials have said the show attracts half a million people each year. We get people from all around the, the country, if not the world, again. So it would be, again, a hit to the business. Megan Dorner works at the family business, Angelo's Fairmount Tavern. It's sad. The air show keeps them busy during dinner hours. Staffing-wise and everything like that, it's kind of like all hands on deck. It's also the loss of a family tradition for many this year. When I was a kid, I, we went every year. It was something we always did with my cousins or with family friends. Um, it's just something you packed up, you went to the beach, and it was just something different out of the ordinary to look forward to. In Atlantic City, Seanette Wilson, Fox 29 News. Developing right now in Philadelphia, a 33-year-old man stabbed once in the neck in Wissanoming. It happened around 7.30 tonight on Comley Street. Police raced him to the hospital where they say he's critical.